Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to transpose a table. And what I mean by transposing a table is, for example, let's say we have our source table up here where our column headers, our column fields are time-based. Uh, for, actually, for the first, for the second to fourth column here, we have time-based columns. And then we have on our rows, for this first column, it's region-based. We want to transpose that and kind of switch it around. Instead of having, instead of having the time based on these column headings, we have the regions, and then we would have the time based fields for the rows here. So there's a couple ways we can do that. Uh, I got some of these tips off a site called Chandu.org. You should probably go there. They've got a lot of good Excel tips and tricks. So go check it out. But there are basically a couple ways that we can do this, and I'll go into that here. So the three ways that we can do this is, the first way is to basically do a copy and trans transpose. There is a function in the paste feature that lets you transpose data. The second way to do this is using a function called transpose. And the third way is basically just linking back to the source data. So I've already got the table filled out here. And we've got a couple, we've got our rows, our columns here that reflect this and our rows, the rows here the fields that reflect here. Now, if we had a large table where we have multiple column fields and maybe multiple rows, this might be a little bit more difficult. But at the end of the video, I'll show you a, a kind of a hack or a shortcut that we can do, which is basically a combination of some of these different tips to make that a little bit easier. So at the end of the video, I'll show you how to do that. But let's go into the first solution. And the first solution is basically using the copy and transpose feature. So the first solution is basically doing a copy and then a paste special. So what we need to do is since I've already got my fields here, I, would, I just need to select in my data here and press control C to copy and in select the first cell here where there's no fields or no headings and then just do a paste special or paste transpose. Uh, the other way, and you can see that as I, if I hover over it, it's already going to paste it in there. The the keyboard, the other keyboard shortcut. Let me go ahead and delete that. Is if we copy this, we do a Control C to copy, and then we just select the first cell here, and then press Alt E S, and it's going to bring the paste special dialog box, and you can just press the transposed, or you can just press Control Alt E S V E S E, and click OK and it's going to do the same thing as selecting the icons here. So that's the first way that we can do a transpose. Now the second way you can do a transpose is to select the range of targeted cells and in the formula box type in transpose. So I can already typed it in. Excel is smart enough to figure out which command I want or which function I want. I'm just going to double click to select that and I'm going to choose the array. So the array is basically the range of cells that we want to transpose over. So I'm going to copy this array here and since this is an array function what we need to do instead of pressing enter we need to press control shift enter because it's an, it will enter it as in an array. So once I do that press control shift enter you'll see that the data is in here. Now the one advantage of using this way is with the copy and transpose, pay special transpose, if you change data in here it won't reflect. Let's make that really an outrageous figure here, 10,000. You'll see it doesn't come into effect in copy and pay special transpose. But if we use the transpose function, you'll see that it reflects it. So it's kind of dynamic. Your, your target table will reflect any changes in the source table. So let's go to our third example. In our third example, what we want to do is we want to copy this data into another table or into another area. So we select that control C to copy. And then what we want to do is we want to just paste the links. And so what we're going to do is press Alt E S to bring up the paste special box. And we're just going to paste the link. So what it's going to do is it's going to, it looks like it pasted the data, but if you click on each of the cells here, what it did was it pasted the link back to, it pasted the link reference back to the source table. So this goes back to B2. This one will go back to E7. Right, so it goes back to E7. So what we want to do here now is we want to select this table and then do a control H. This is going to be a find and replace. So this is a keyboard shortcut for find and replace. And we want to take those equals, as you can see I've done it earlier. We want to take those equals and make it X 
equal. And replace all of them. Okay, so now it's made 24 replacements. So what I'm going to do now is can take this, control, take this range, and control C to copy, and then go in here and then do a paste special, and then transpose. Now I'm using the icons here and do it instead, and now you see that what's done is it's transposed it. This is B2, this is B3, which is down here, South America Q1. So it's basically moved it, and all I need to do now is just do a Control H to find and replace in this, and just reverse this. Now make the X equal and turn that into an equal, and then click Replace All. Click OK, click Close, and now you see that it's basically transposed it. So we have, if we did quarter two South America 291, we look at here quarter two South America 291. It's basically done, it. and and the same here. If we change the data, let's make this some small number one. It's changed it here. So this is basically a cell reference to that. Let me go ahead and just kind of, I like to keep this formatted. So now we see that there's three ways to do this. Now, as I mentioned before, what if we had a large table? Now we have a large table like this. And if you if this went over longer, and this went over longer down here, it, it'd be kind of a hassle to create this, You know, copy just the row here, and then transpose it down here, and copy this and transpose it down there. One way we can do that is we can select the table. So we can just click anywhere in the table, press Control A to select all, press Control C to copy it, and then go into just another part of an empty cell and then transpose it. Now we've got the data and it's static data, but if we wanted to have it dynamic, what we need what we can do now is just delete this data and then in here just type transpose and then select the data here, and then press Control Shift Enter, and now we have our dynamic, our, our target table that is dynamic to any changes in the source table. So if I go into Q5 in Europe and make that, you know, 10,000, you'll see that it changes here. Q5 in Europe, 10,000. So that's the that's the extra little tip that I can show you. If you have a large table and you want to do transposing, you can basically just do a combination of the copy and transpose and the transpose function. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.